Hey everybody, Adam with Antique Automotive Service. Get a lot of questions regarding stainless steel polishing and how to do it, what to use, what materials, etc., etc. Because um, it does get pretty expensive when you're trying to do a whole car's worth of stuff. Actually, I had a buddy reach out to me the other day and ask me uh, what it would take just to do a quick once over on my stuff to put it back on his race car because it just got painted. He doesn't want to put garbage back on it. Uh, so he just wants to make it pop. So I'll go over a, a, a quick way to do it. Um, my equipment that I always use is just a Harbor Freight 8 inch bench grinder buffer motor um, with their with their stand on it. And then I use a, an Eastwood um, loose cotton buffing wheel. Uh, it comes in 6 to 12 inches I think. This used to be a 10 inch wheel. I've used it enough that it has now become a 5 or 6 inch wheel. So um, doesn't matter. As long as it works on your buffing wheel, it works great. Uh, as far as your compound, just a white compound is all you need. So these are the only two things you need in addition to your normal bench grinder to make it work. As far as, uh, let's see, I've just got a piece of windshield molding stainless off a 72 Buick GS. Actually, this is an NOS piece, uh, which is in pretty good shape. I've done half of it already. Um, but I'm just gonna do a quick once over on it to show you how easily you can make this pop without spending a bunch of time on it. Uh, PPE, always wear PPE. You need a pair of gloves, a mask, and a pair of safety glasses at the very least. Uh, some people will like to use a face shroud. I'm pretty comfortable with using this stuff, so it really doesn't bother me anymore, but um, if these things get loose on you, they'll, they'll go flying, so. Better to be safe than sorry. Uh, so if you've got long sleeve shirt or even like a pair of welding gloves or something like that, that's probably better to use if you're not used to running these things. It's a little annoying to wear this stuff, but it's very important. All right, so before I actually start the wheel, I'm gonna kind of go through one or two little important things when you're running this. So. The wheel's gonna be spinning this way. You don't wanna go that way with it or else you're gonna end up with this either wrapped around the wheel or it's gonna be 70 feet across the room or in your foot. So be very mindful of which way this thing's spinning and how you approach with your stainless. So crank up your motor, put a little compound on it. Doesn't require a whole ton because you'll just be keep continually uh, applying it. <clears throat> And as far as just a quick once over, it's super easy. I would just go straight down with it, just like this. Be firm, but don't kill it. And just nice and slow. Make sure I'm, feels like something's on there. All right, that should be good. Yeah, just, uh, and it doesn't hurt to go over it more than one time. You know, if you want, if you feel like it's not quite enough, you can go over it a second, third time. Uh, there's also another method to it. I always keep a little microfiber towel to wipe off this stuff so you see where you're at if you can't see it. So there's a couple of different facets on this piece. There's a big wide uh, piece that faces the outside and then there's one that kind of bevels down toward the middle. You want to hit both of those ends or those uh, facets. And just nice and slow, let the wheel do the work. That looks pretty good there. I also like to do these, uh, these kind of, they're, they're hidden um, facets, but it sure does make everything look nice before you put it on. And with, uh, with, with these parts that have already been on cars, you, you may end up with a little bit of paint over here or silicone or something where people have, have uh, sealed their windows back up the hard way. Um, yeah, so that turns out pretty nice, but if you want to get a little bit more of a cut on it without spending any more money or, or spending much more time really, you can go this way with it. But another situation is you got to be super mindful of how this wheel is and why that, you know, the edge of the stainless because you, if you let it roll, it's gonna be out of your hands or somewhere and this will be ruined, most likely. So, 
go about halfway. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just nice and slow. Another reason you want to wear gloves besides the fact that these things could slice your hands off is this stuff gets pretty hot and, and it's hard to hold when it's really hot. So you go over the first half on this side and then you flip it back over. I can't remember which side I did. And do the other half. That puts a little bit more of a bite or a cut on the piece. And uh, once you're done with that, it's gonna be a little hazy. So what you wanna do is go back and color it again. So this will give you a nice uniform look to your piece. Takes out all those buffing scratches and stuff like that. So once you're done with it, just wipe it off. And it's virtually like chrome. Here's a little bit more close-up view of what I'm doing. So, apply. And... Get both facets. And you'll typically go all the way down with it, then flip it for the last few inches and hit that. And if you want to do it again, the slower you go, the better it is. That looks pretty good there, but if you were wanting to do it <clears throat> another cut, you could go horizontally this way, so you want to be careful with your roll and keep the edge off. Nice and slow. Turn it around for the rest of that facet. And for this for this small facet here, you can hit it pretty quick. Those don't take very long most of the time. And then the last thing you want to do is go back over it with your color move. And this kind of evens out all those cut marks. Make sure you get both facets. Wipe it off and it's done. So, you know, this is, this is the not done portion. This is the done portion. Quite a bit of difference, especially when you're talking, you know, very little work. So, you can't do that with chrome polish or stainless steel or anything like that. So, that's the way to do it. So this piece would probably, you know, it'll only take you 10 minutes, especially if you're doing that, the extra motion this way. But if, if all you're doing is coming this way and this way for two different facets, you got five minutes a piece. So you, know, you get maybe 10, 20 pieces of stainless on a car. It'll take you a couple hours to get through everything. So um, that's basically it. Um, I will get a little bit more into detail, actually quite a bit more into de de detail in other videos, but uh, that is kind of the meat and potatoes of it um, and pretty much anyone can take care of this so that's it thanks for listening and watching <laughs> <laughs>